It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In the case of anybody. It's just entertainment purpose. It's not. In Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. You guys get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that post notification bell so you are up to date with all of the latest Love and Mirror Chantsfield drama and every time I upload. I hope you guys will be following along with me because Love and Mirror Chantsville isn't the only reality show I'm going to be following. So I hope y'all watch the reviews and the latest tea and news that I post on my channel about other reality stars. Real Housewives of Atlanta airs Sunday, May the 7th at 8 p.m. I am going to be watching that. That is on Sunday. I stopped watching Real Housewives of Atlanta for a while because their storylines got boring and fake and fabricated like um, Love and Mirror Chuntsville. But we are going to be watching it to tie Martel fake storyline into his Huntsville storyline and catch up with his lies. Like I told y'all, I do believe that he, well not he, but Sheree will be an ally to Mel. Not because she's her friend, but because she's going to come on here and prove that Martel is exactly who we knew he was. And she's going to have to eat her words. But let's go ahead and check out this clip. They have released a sneak peek or a little trailer on what is to expect from Martel and his cheating rumors. Street said he been kicking it with some chicks in Atlanta. Yeah. I heard that too. No. Yeah. See, it's a little awkward because he did lightweight try to talk to me. What? Yes. So yes, those are my thoughts. Mel will also be vindicated on this season as far as Martel goes. And we also see that she's vindicated online because we aren't sure how much of his real life Carlos is going to actually show. This is also why he's in Atlanta so often. But you guys also take a look at this next clip. This is one of the reasons why it's so refreshing to watch other reality shows and Carlos needs to take notes no matter how he likes to criticize Real Housewives franchises. Although Kenya is portrayed as the villain in most of her seasons, she always comes across as being human no matter what. So even though her and Drew had that big old beef the last season, her and Drew still came together and she had compassion for Drew and she right now that she's going through her divorce. So y'all watch this next clip. And like I said, that's why it's always so refreshing to watch these reality shows because no matter if she's the villain or not, she's still a woman first. And so the way she explained her and Drew kind of coming together and her feeling like Drew will be okay and be able to get through her divorce is another example of Although Kenya is a character villain, she's still a human and she's still a person and we can still relate to her. It was reported that you had to go back into production after Drew had the breakup, filed yeah. for divorce. Were you surprised about her and Ralph? I was actually really surprised because they had seemed like they were doing better. You know, they yeah. were in counseling. Mm -hmm. They were more affectionate when we would see them. Um, they would show up for each other. It just was different. So I was really rooting for them. And then I was just kind of heartbroken when I saw that they had filed. Yeah. Right. And then you guys were just together this weekend. So how is yeah. she doing? she's going to be okay. Yeah. Oh. She's got me. She's got her girls. You know, she's got a family that really cares about her. So she's going to be okay. And I'm going to make sure of it. And she's, and she's going to Beyonce with the baseball bat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, she's she's like, she's going to uh, be okay because I'm going to make her okay. Yeah, because I'm going to make her okay. You know, we have a similar situation. We both have been married to a similar personality. Mm -hmm. There's and that bond there. There's that bond, yeah. you know. And I felt just really um, protective of her when mm -hmm. I would see her in a situation where I didn't feel like she was being heard or seen. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, um, and it just kind of like infuriated me and I just had to jump in there. Mm -hmm. But, oh. but I, she's capable. She's smart. She's beautiful. She's got an amazing career. And trust me, she's got beautiful kids. She's going to be okay. Well, so again, it's lighthearted. It's easy drama. She's still a woman. She can still relate to her. I like how she included that like we can relate we, you know we dated similar guys or dot guys with the similar characteristics why haven't any of the women on love and marriage huntsville related to Mill in that similar way kind of like you saw um kimmy and tisha sitting down talking about the scott's brothers which is news to me because tisha's been married for what 17 years and she's getting advice from the side chick allegedly 
But anyways, moving on. She talks about how Cynthia Bailey in her film and some of the other OGs, but she kind of shaded them. So it's going to be interesting to see how all of the other girls come back together. Her and Sheree seemingly have a good relationship this season, which is great, good to see. I do believe Martell and Sheree relationship is just for a storyline and Kenya will be revealing the tea and him being in her dm so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out as well as her breakup she also talks about her being a good mom and i also noticed that she does follow melody so she is in support of male and that's why again we can relate to kenya because although we can be shady and not like people we can still resonate with them relate to them have empathy and sympathy for them so i think she does a good job with being a villain but still being human a lot in which tisha and kimmy need to kind of take notes from so y'all get in the comments let me know what you think about this don't forget to like subscribe comment hit that post notification bell so you can be up to date with all of the latest love and marriage huntsville drama and you can be up to date with every time i upload it's just entertainment purpose oh it's not it's just entertainment purpose oh it's not in, no. in the case of anybody it's just entertainment purpose oh it's not in